Hey there everyone, Captain John here. Today we're gonna have a good one. It's gonna be good. We're here in Washington. Well, almost in Washington. First, we're gonna check out this one, the Pentagon Memorial. This is where the uh, the plane crashed on 9-11 when we were under attack, and there's the Pentagon right there. How awesome is that? It actually exists, here it is. I've never seen it. <laughs> so I can tell you now, it does exist, there it is. So uh, since this is uh, sacred ground, I won't be doing much talking. I'll just uh, show you guys what's here and we'll move on. So you can see here where the plane impacted the Pentagon, you can see the color difference. See how it's a lighter color there, darker color? So that's where they had to replace their plane. This is where their plane struck the Pentagon right here. This is whole section from there to here. Right there, you can see the color difference. Sad. And here's, uh, again, the names. One thing I wanted to point out, um, it shows the names, it shows the dates, and also on the on the memorial over there, it showed all the names and uh, the different years of decades. Not one person that died on uh, September 11th at the Pentagon was born in the 1980s. They're all as far back as the 1930s all the way to the 1990s. Um, as far as birth birth years, but nobody from the 80s. I find that really weird. Not one person from the 1980s died in that attack uh, at this specific location. Very interesting. Very sad to see the the memorial and everything we had to go through back in 2001. I remember it very vividly, even though it was 20 some years ago now. I can't even believe it's been 20 years. It's still feels like it was yesterday. Uh, anyway, so we're gonna move on. We're gonna head on over to Washington D.C. Uh, as the video stated, uh, we're our, we're gonna go over there, check out the White House. We're gonna do some sightseeing, go see the museums, all that fun stuff. Um, and I want to introduce somebody that's tagging along with me on this trip. Um, this is my buddy from Hawaii, then California, and now North Carolina. <laughs> so uh, Donovan here. Aloha. There he is. <laughs> so he's going to be uh, working the North Carolina Bus Test Express site for us. Uh, so I'm just getting him trained up out here before I head back home to San Francisco. Uh, so he's tagging along with me. It's uh, We're off for the weekends. It's only like a three hour drive to DC from our hotel. So we're like, hey, let's get a rental car and go explore. So that's what we're doing. And we're bringing you guys with us. So here we go. A 
there's the U.S. Capitol. That's where Congress sits and makes all the rules. And right behind me here, if you look there, it's really foggy today, but you can see that as the Washington Monument. And right behind the Washington Monument, I don't know if I can't zoom in, but I don't know if you can see behind the Washington Monument, but right there is the White House. And yeah, we're going to get a closer look. But that's where we are right now. Let's take a look at these statues. These videos can't really do justice. These pictures, uh, these statues are huge, very large. Pretty cool. This like really ornate sidewalls here with these cool, like lantern style street lights. Of course, they're electric now, not kerosene anymore. As you can imagine, this full of thousands of people on an inauguration day. President the. President being sworn in is right up on top of those steps at the very top there where the construction is happening. And just be full of thousands and thousands of people watching the inauguration. It'd be pretty cool to see. Yeah, they got the Christmas tree here in front of the Capitol. And there it is. It's about as close as you can get to it. So they have it all barricaded off, as you can see, you can't walk up the steps. And right up there, that's where they swore in the president, right in that area right there. So it'll be like premium view right here. And you can see those big black uh, gates that they have. Probably because uh, when they stormed the Capitol, they put those up so you can't do that again. <laughs> and they have police obviously up there and over here. Very well guarded. It's very nice to be here in the nation's capital exploring. I've been here before but I've never actually like, walked around and sightseed so this is all new for me and I'm glad I could be sharing it with you guys. Alright well time to move on. We've got plenty more to see on this trip. I'm only here for a day and a half so got a lot of ground to cover. So I need to correct myself when I pointed out the Washington Monument. That's actually the Lincoln Memorial behind the White House is up that way so sorry to misinform there's a, a better shot of the other side so uh, one side is US Senate and the other side's representatives is that how it works I think I don't know I'm not a US history buff but it is pretty cool to see it Right, definitely a better view on this side of the building. No construction tarps. Look how beautiful that is. It's a magnificent building. It's one of those things that you just have to see in person. It's hard to justify the beauty through video or pictures. All the buildings, surrounding buildings as well, all historical. I think that's the Supreme Court right there. We'll go take a look at it. It's amazing how massive this building is. I can't even get it all in one shot. It goes from there to the other side over there. Huge building. A lot of paperwork in there. There 
Where is this? Supreme Court. Massive pillars on that building, my goodness. Let's go walk up the stairs. Let's get our exercise. Nobody's home. And just down the street from the Capitol building, we have the Smithsonian. It's actually several buildings. There's a Washington Monument. There, um, that building, this building, and like all these buildings down that way. That is all the Smithsonian. And we're only gonna have time to do a couple. Because uh, they close at 5.30, and uh, yeah, there's a lot to see. So can't see them all, unfortunately. So we chose to see the American history and the natural history. So we're going to start with American history. And by the way, if you ever visit D.C., just know that all these places we're going, it's completely free. You can go to the top, the Washington Monument, it's free. Uh, we're not going to, though, because you got to get tickets like two weeks in advance, and, well, we just did this like spur of the moment type thing uh, but yeah all the Smithsonian's are free they don't charge you can go out and I think they also have a zoo that's free uh, probably won't have time to do that though How did we become us? Alright, let's take a look. How did we become us? So unfortunately I could not film in this exhibit, the Star Spangled Banner exhibit, because it says right there, no photography. Which sucks because that was actually pretty cool. You got to see the original flag, but I'll try and find a picture and post it so you guys can see what it looks like. Gunboat, Philadelphia. Now this is more my speed. Go, look at that ship. Wow, that is cool.
There, this one's for you, Dane. You like Legos. This is your Statue of Liberty Legos edition. And we're going to grab something to eat now because we are hungry. We haven't eaten all day long. It's time for some lunch. Let's see what the Smithsonian's gonna feed us. Thank you. This looks great. It smells good. Potatoes. Alright, that's what we're dealing with for lunch. Got my little spread going on and it was not cheap. $16 a pound. $23.41 for all that. But you know what? It smells amazing. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're going to look at these exhibits real quick before heading next door to the uh, Natural History Museum. Check this out. an old choo-choo train. Shop will be open, and I wanted to get a train set. Hold on, Donovan. It's moving. It's a freaking huge train. Just give me an idea how large that train is. <laughs> I'm 5'9. Holy crap. I think those wheels are taller than me.
Santa Cruz. That is a cool little model. I want that. I don't know where I put it, but I want it. Is your Hawaiian boat? Yeah. How we get up. Right, walking down a little ways to the Natural History Museum. Here's a uh, Weiss coach from Nashville, Tennessee. It's a uh, quite a drive. Archives, United States of America. I wonder where the archive in there. A lot of history, I'm sure. Department of Agriculture. All the departments are right here. This street, Constitution Way. It's all these uh, double-decker buses like you see in San Francisco. I think the one I rode in New York. Big, the, uh, it's called the, the Big Bus. Take you around all the different tour spots. You can see everything without walking, but I like to walk. We are getting our steps in. You can ask Donovan. I'm, making, I'm giving him a workout. He's shedding the pounds this weekend. All right, so we made it to the Natural History Museum. A big elephant. Look at the ocean Another view of the uh, Capitol building, leaving the uh, Natural History Museum. Walking back to the car, I'm gonna head towards the hotel. All right, this is what we're dealing with here in Washington, D.C. We're literally down the street from the White House. This is the, uh, the Hampton Inn. It's called the Hampton Inn D.C. White House. It's the king size bed. It's definitely a small, cramped little room. We are on the 11th floor. So we have 
an interesting view, I'll say that. This is one side of the building. I'm in the corner, looks like I'm in the corner unit. Got some fancy looking building over there, and then I got this brick wall to look at. <laughs> and on uh, this side, we have the same view looking that way, just a little better. And across the way, we have other hotel room windows so we can stare at each other. I could actually look at this guy in the bathroom right over there. I don't know what he's doing. Fixing the toilet maybe. Looks like he's changing the, the toilet seat. So yeah, if someone wants to take a shower with the windows open, um, we're going to get a view. Yeah, we're going to um, have different type of content here on the, on the Captain John channel that happens tonight. That's what we're dealing with. Never had so well, now you don't see that person's bed over there. <laughs> Definitely an awkward, an awkward uh, facing building. Anyways, uh, just gonna kind of rest here. Um, it's been a long day already, so just gonna kind of rest, hang out a little bit. Uh, Donovan, Donovan and I are gonna catch up again a little bit later. And um, uh, White House, like right down the street, probably take a walk over there, take a look at it uh, tomorrow for sure in the morning. Uh, we may look at the White House. We're going to go to the Washington Monument. We're going to go. There's a castle by the Smithsonian. We're going to go back over there, and of course the Lincoln Memorial before we head back to North Carolina. Uh, so yeah, stick around. We're not done. Uh, yeah, we're going to have more fun. So um, stay tuned.